You know He's saying me. I'm not young either. <sighs> what? I, I, don't you know I am the essence of young and beautiful. <laughs> Do you not know anything about being in the presence of an agent? We are young. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Josh. Yo, yo, yo. All right. So, as you read from the title, this is going to be a journey. And I have guests. First, we'll start with Adams. How are you doing, darling? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Good, good. I'm uh, not excited about this, but it's fine. Um, as you know, this is the one who she did my woodworking back here. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Her wonderful wife is here as well, but she's off camera. She's not participating. She's lucky. Just kidding. Okay. And then returning to my kitchen. How you doing, girl? Okay, so on a scale from one to ten, how excited are we about this? Totally ten. A negative twenty. Negative twenty. <laughs> I like that one. I like her thinking. Negative twenty. Okay, so we are going to be making some kind of old school creation that should have stayed back in the past, <laughs> but here we are today. So we're gonna make this. We're gonna try it, and you get to see our reactions. That being said, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start this recipe here. We have all the ingredients that we need. Um, in interest of time, we've kind of like pre-done some of the steps. So that way we have a little bit more time to do things. Amanda, would you like to read us the recipe. Sure. And then we'll just follow along from there. Okay, so this is a jelly beet mold. Its contents are one and a half pounds boneless beef, sorry, boneless beef chuck roast, cubed. Got it. One cup of hot water, which we have already used to boil the beef. Yes. One envelope unflavored gelatin, such as Knox. One third cup celery, one quarter cup onion, one quarter cup dill pickle, one half teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon pepper, and 12 olives. So we've already cooked the, um, the vegetables and the beef. We have our broth here and we have everything queued up. The only thing that we'll need to do is we have the pimento peppers that need to be sliced up. So you said that you wanted to handle that. I did. Yes. Yes, you did. Because <laughs> you were going to show me your next skill. I did. So we're going to have you two switch. So, pray for her fingers. Shut up. <laughs> so while she does that, we're going to have Chris start reading the recipe, so we need to know what we're doing from here. Okay, so what's our first step? Um, after the simmering? Stuff like that? No, well, okay, so we're okay. simmering the beef. We already covered the beef. Okay, what's the next step after that? Um, cool, cool the broth. Cool the broth. Yeah, gotcha. Soften the gelatin in two tablespoons of broth. Okay, so we need to, all right, so, we got this. So we're gonna put the gelatin in this, yes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> too many phones. <sighs> too many cooks, too many phones. Okay, so we're softening this in here. Okay, what's next? Um. I feel like we missed a step. We did miss a step. You have to put it in the food processor and chop it up. Right? Isn't that bad? Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put it through the food chopper. You mean the coarse blade. Okay. Yeah. So this, this lovely thing yes. that will take off my finger. So I'll let you do that. I'm going to continue stirring this. So just put this in there and then turn it on. Go. I'm terrified. Okay. Do you want to switch jobs? You know what? It's fine. No. <laughs> it's okay. I'm so concentrated on this. I'm like, this must be missed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's good enough. And I see. Have a utensil to like, um, like put this into the. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> you got this. Okay, so these are these are sliced. Yeah. Fingers good. intact. Yay! Okay. We may. All right, so we're gonna put the top on here. It's gonna get loud for a 
from it. Should be good enough. The thing about this I find uh, That looks like ground beef. Okay. Chopped up beef. We got this. So now we gotta mix it all up with the celery, oh, the celery onion, and Okay, so celery and onion. And the pickle. Okay. Why? Why? Oh, I love pickles. <laughs> pickles are pickles are delicious. It's just this, I mean I guess this right here should be fine. This no. this feels like I feel like this would be like a, 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 a filling for something. So after you mix it all together, okay. we're adding another broth to the consomme to make Gotcha. Yeah, we have the consomme and then the beef it's like broth. All already, like, yeah, I gotcha. Okay. So um, that's already mixed already. Pour a thin layer of gelatin into the one and one half quart loaf pan. Loaf pan. Or a six cup mold. These things. I have my wonderful mold here. It's a silicone version of like a buck pan. Yay. <laughs> okay. So who wants to do the pouring? Don't everybody volunteer once. I'm not what, super steady, fish? you know? No, we're putting this... No, wait, what are we doing? We're putting uh, a thin you layer have to put, of gelatin. You have to put a thin layer of gelatin do you have a little, the, uh, pan, the, the little pole. brush? Like a basting brush? Do we have to put a thin layer of gelatin? Yeah. Yes, can... you put a thin layer of gelatin to coat the top. And chill it. Before you dump it. Yes. Do I have a brush? Yeah, or is... Wait, I guess we'll just use the spoon. Okay. Spoon is our go-to right Excuse now. Excuse me. It's... Cut. Okay, we'll add some more liquid to it. Hold on. Add some more liquid. We got this. We got this. There you go. Oh, it didn't uncongeal. <laughs> add more <It's> liquid? <laughs> very gelatinous. Oh, God. Why? Why, why did you, you? You were waiting to use that word, weren't you? You've been waiting this whole time. Yes. Very viscous. Very, very gelatinous. So we're adding a thin layer to the bottom slash top. I'm just kind of like we're spreading it around. Okay, what's the next step after that? Okay, uh, you have to chill it after okay. you do that. And so we're then pop that in the freezer. Hopefully that'll chill a little bit faster. To the remainder of the gelatin mixture, add salt and pepper and the beef mixture. Okay, so salt, pepper, and the beef mixture. To the remainder of the liquid. The remainder of the gelatin. Oh, okay. I feel like we were supposed to mix the gelatin with something. No? Well. Hold on a second. <clears throat> we add the beef until tender, remove meat, push through food chopper. <laughs> uh, cool broth, soften gelatin with two tablespoons of broth. Put celery and onions in the broth until tender, but still slightly firm, about 10 I'm minutes. Soften gelatin Hold on. To drain both broth, mix celery and onions and pickles with the meat. Add enough broth to the consomme to make two cups, then heat. Add softened gelatin. Oh, we're supposed to Ooh. add the softened gelatin to the... What did you do? We have to add the softened gelatin. We have to add it to the... Right, so, and then you pour the thin to layer, the, right? To the broth. That's what we missed. But then you pour the thin layer, right? Then you pour the thin layer. That's what I was like. I feel like there's... So I feel like we need to go back to the start with... The softening gelatin. the gelatin. Let's soften the gelatin. All right. Let me wash this out. Okay. <laughs> Do you want... Okay, it's softened. Now what? We need to add Now we add that to that. That looks like boogers. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Sorry. Gosh. Okay, give it a good mix. You can pull it towards you. Yeah. I have short arms. <laughs> exactly. Pull it towards you. Okay. Yeah. This gets added to this. Yes. Just a little. Sure. We got this. I believe we Probably a little more. We need. I feel like above the ridges is good. Okay. I can't really see it. Yeah, I gotcha. Let's keep going. Okay. That should be good. And I'll pop it in the freezer. So this goes in our freezer. Okay, to the remainder of that, yes. we add salt and pepper. Yeah. And then add it into the beef mixture. Okay, so okay. in the freezer. Alright. You're just the assistant this time. Yep. Yeah. Works for 
works for me. Okay. And then add this to this. Yes. Okay. All of it? Yes. I'm pretty sure. After the pan is chilled or the mold is chilled, oh. then we arrange the olives and the pimiento strips in a design or whatever, and then spoon in this. Okay. Got it. Spoon in carefully. And then we're going to let that set, and that's going to be on a journey, as I said before. Okay, so I guess all we have to do now is just wait for that to chill. So we can set all this aside and probably start with some of the other... Yes, we have some other ingredients that we're going to give a good, a good try of, and um, please pray for us. <laughs> Yes, we are back, and um, so while we're waiting for the gelatin, I uh, decided that we were going to try some other things to uh, help this journey along, and uh, it smells so bad. <laughs> it smells so bad. It smells so bad. It's it even worse. Oh, no. Well, I don't know how I let myself get talked into this, but here we are. So, okay, so on the, on the plate here... We have escargot in a pan. <clears throat> and we also have, what is this one? This is the anchovies. anchovies. So we also have some anchovies. And then we have some sardines. Now, sardines and anchovies, I've never had. Technically, I had escargot, but like that was forever ago. So we're gonna give that another try. So the question is where shall we start? <laughs> oh, I also have some bowls because. Oh, in case, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why won't get the biggest one? Actually, that's just how it worked out, okay? I was wondering that too, but... Safety bowls. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna move my back here so we can have a full view of what's going on. All right, so let's start with... Now, you said you had sardines. Okay, explain to us about your sardine adventures. So sardines are something that you have, well, in my childhood. You take a saltine cracker, you put the sardine on it, it did not look like this. You put the, it actually had the full head and everything, so these are already filleted, so I guess it's supposed to be more appetizing? Yeah. You watched I, I don't, think I, would, I don't think I would have been able to look at a fish, you know? Like, right? I was like, this one was filleted and boneless, I didn't want to deal with the heads and bones and eyes and things, so but I was you don't like, like. You don't pick out, it's a tiny fish. You don't but you got snails in a can. In we'll, can. Do, we'll deal with that later. Sorry. Okay, sardines. All right, Sorry. so. You take Childhood cracker, thing. you put the sardine, you take another cracker, you sandwich it, you eat it, it's good eating in your childhood. Not necessarily now. Okay, so. I got, I got mine. I got, we're ready for this. Right. Now, we have to, <laughs> I want to, <laughs> I, I, I want to impose that we have to chew the whole thing and swallow. What? Without spitting out, but we're gonna see if that's actually gonna hold. So, here we go. Oh, he's gone first. Oh, okay, well, that one fell apart. So, I guess we'll just. Okay. You turn it into a mush. I know, it's like falling apart. It's... Oh, God, it's like tuna now. Okay. I mean. Let's do this, and then we're gonna all do this at the same time. Get yourselves a helper. Huge appetite. I'll just take a small. That's a good idea. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that. I don't know why I just kept going. I'm scared. Okay. All right, everybody ready? One, two, three, go. It's not that bad. No. <laughs> okay. I thought that was going to be way worse. That looks very fishy, though. It's very fishy. Like. What was this one? Sardines. That's the sardines. Oh, that's the sardines. Okay. It's kind of like, it still kind of tastes like tuna. Are you coming home? A little bit. You want me to try this? I want you to try this. Come to the right. boat to the fine people of Mama Ruby's kitchen. Yeah. Oh my god, yes! So this is a shirt by Vinny. Like, I had a shirt before, which somehow I lost, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, so this shirt is by Vinny. It is an homage to uh, Mr. Chadwick. Um... Bozeman. Bozeman. That's what I was like, I know it's <laughs> Bozeman something. Chadwick Bozeman. Sorry about that. And so, 
he drew this on Twitch. So I suggest you go check it out because I'm sure it's there for you to view. It's an it's an amazing kid. He's so this. amazing. She's <laughs> she really is enjoying this. She said she had a smile. Okay. I could eat a cracker. No, it's alright. It's just like she's got it. She's got it. Like now, I have like more hurricane shelter food to buy because uh -huh. you know it's really not that bad. Put it on some crackers. I feel like I feel like on some crackers it'd be fine. Yeah. 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 We're good. You'll stay for the not so dangerous stuff. The not so dangerous stuff. Okay, so now we have anchovies, which again I haven't had. I'm hoping that this is gonna be like the sardine situation and not be so bad. What the heck is this? Now I know that they use like they use anchovies, for example, to make um, Worcestershire sauce. But yeah, it's like a very small it's fish. A it's a hairy fish. Well. Isn't it a little Caesar? Oh, it's, it's, it's a little Caesar. It's like in Caesar salad dressing. Oh, oh, it's in Caesar salad dressing. Where is something there? Is that bones or is it hair? I want to say that's bones. It's a fish, so we shouldn't have hair. So it's bones. It's probably but why are the bones sticking out like that? I don't know. That's well, it was filleted, so I guess that would happen. <laughs> okay. Give me one of these. I am not feeling ingesting yeah, bones right before. now. No shares. No okay, you can go first. There's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Nice try. Nice try. I mean, they're only small bones, right? I mean, I've eaten fish bones before, but... Right? I feel like they should be fine. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This looks... Might as well, I might as well be eating a snail. Your Look face at is killing me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's perfectly calm. It smells kind of like a sardine. Oh, you got a small... Ah, uh -uh, you got a smaller piece. I cut I, I, You cut those in half? Small I cut it in half because I have Jade. Does she have to eat the whole thing? No. Look, I'm eating a whole one. I'm eating a okay. whole one. Oh, God, here. Okay, everybody ready? One, two, three, go. That really cool. Wow, that is so salty. Ooh, oh, and really bony. Wow. Wow, that just tastes like salt. Solid from that, that is the ocean. Like just the ocean. That is the ocean. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, why didn't I get some water? I need water. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I feel like I just swallowed all the nostrils like ocean water. Why didn't I think about water before? <laughs> oh. That is like that just tastes like salt to me. The most. Yes. Yes. Do you smell that? Is this one mine? This one's mine. I'm not going to uh, be present for the Uh-uh. 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 I'm standing here, but I'm not trying it. I'm not trying it. I have a strict policy. I didn't know you were including this. I should have told you that I refuse to eat snails, though. Like, snails and clams, I'm not a fan. They're really... Can we, can we, then, can we just all not have it, then? You opened it. You opened it. So? I'm You're the one who thought of it. You're eating it. Oh, my God. That's not... I feel like that's not fair. I can have a strict I policy, too. So but it's in I just world. made a strict policy. I will never eat snails again in my life. <laughs> <laughs> my policy. How about that? Then you're oh wasting a kind of snail thing. You just purchased it. You're I, the one who had the idea. I, it's for all of us. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Why? Why do you have a strict policy? Oh, I just did because she did. Like cruelty to animals, <laughs> or what's happening? Yes. Okay, yeah, what's your Those poor because snails. Because you bought this, which means that you have now donated to the snail fishermen. Yes. Who killed them? Snail, and now snail, you fish. want that? I don't know. And now you're gonna throw snail 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 so like I'm gonna have to do this by myself then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Somehow I did not picture this I going this direction. Oh yay! I've never had it. Okay. She's had it. I will never, but like fresh, not Walmart. Yeah. What? What is it gonna be specifically at Walmart? I feel like. Publix I feel like that? Walmart is the only one who put escargot in a can. Nah, you no. You can find it. No, no. Roland put escargot in a can. Walmart sells it. <laughs> You got me there. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, I don't know how to do 
Oh, uh uh, that's too big. We're cutting this in half. It's fine. Oh my, oh! No, you're not allowed to take pictures. You, you're you sitting over there and not taking part. Okay. I'm not doing the whole thing. I'm not doing the whole thing. Yeah, just put it in and go. Okay. We're cutting this. Job, he cut him. I took him. He offered. All right, ready? <laughs> She's <Now> I am. <laughs> All right, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, the texture is really, really it's chewy. Just, oh, yeah. It's, it's really stuck in my teeth. <laughs> but it's like a mild flavor, though. But it's not. It's it's it is a weird flavor though, but it's very very mild. I right? feel like it would have been better with the better. butter sauce. Yeah. Yeah, throw some butter sauce on it. Too. Shoot, I had it. I had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, so we are back to do the rest of the recipe. This is sufficiently set, so now we're just going to continue from here and that. All right, so what's our next step? We're gonna have a dubs read for us because. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next step is to arrange the olive slices. Oh, we're supposed to slice them? Okay. Oh, yeah, we got more slicing skills. Okay. Arrange the olive slices and the pimento, pim, sorry, pimiento strips in design over the gelatin and pan. So go ahead and take the pimiento strips. Okay, I got that. Slice off your olives. Okay, so we're supposed to do this in kind of like a weird, like, pattern thing. I mean, you can make any design. Make it Where? pretty. Trying my best. Good pretty, housekeeping. So it's like Better homes and gardens. Better homes. Or, I'm sorry, this Where is <laughs> the Farm <laughs> Journal Country Cookbook. These people. Why did you scoff? Because <laughs> who would come up with this? Oh no! I'm traumatized. This looks like to me like you're just picking up an anchovy. <laughs> okay. Have a Are you, you want me to do it? I no. mean. I have tiny, delicate it. hands. Yeah, you do have tiny, delicate hands. I need a thing here. Okay, so we're arranging the pimiento, not pimento. pimiento. The pimiento. I corrected myself, sir. You did. So I'm just making sure, you know, we read it wrong. See, it's not as easy as it seems. Oh, sorry. Uh, excuse me, you were fumbling with one, and I've already Listen, it fell out of my hand. <laughs> okay, we're just going to do this together. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and look for now. I'm going to decorate. I'm more worried about this right here. True. The vomit mixture? Yes, the vomit mixture. That looks like vomit. Like a dream. But it smells alright. It smells like it beef smells stew, like right? It smells like beef stew, yes. So maybe just kind of. Yeah, just. Yeah. That kind of yeah. the purpose of me chopping them. That's also true. Well, now there's not yeah, so much yeah. in one bite. You gotta do like, what's, what's the meme with the guy with the salt? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> I have short arms, so that's probably what you're doing. There you go. It works. Okay. okay. What's next? Oh, yeah, right? Yes. Next up. Carefully scoop. Carefully spoon in the beef mixture and then chill. Okay. Do you have a bigger scoop? Got it. I'm trying to remember how to say shrimp in Spanish. I can't. I'm pretty sad. <laughs> the sound effects is unreal. <laughs> We should, honestly, we should have done an ASMR. Oh, no, let's not. Let's <laughs> not and say we do. So now we put this to chill, right? Chill. Chill. All right. Okay. I can do that, and then we can wash our hands. Okay, this is going to have to do this then. And our souls. Okay, so now we have moved on from anchovy, snails, sardines, and other things um, to something across the ocean. Way across the ocean. So we are doing... Vegemite. Now, a little a little fun fact about Vegemite. What did you think it was again? Rancid mayo. Rancid mayo. Well, but then you were like, maybe that's just how it tastes. Maybe that's just how it tastes. Okay. It's probably well, how it smells. Probably. Okay. But what actually is Vegemite? It is yeast extract <laughs> grown on barley and um, wheat. And they mix that extract with um, vegetable extracts along with spice extracts. So it's all mixed 
and then it like makes Vegemite. And according to what I read, um, they, Aussies, they feed these people, like they feed their children, they feed it to their children young. So they like grow up on it. Um, we're obviously not young. So here we go. Okay, so how, who's not young? I mean, not a child. Oh. So how we're supposed to have this is we, we have our buttered toast and then we're supposed to put the Vegemite on the toast and then eat it. Yes. Our favorite part. Clarify that this is keto toast. Keto. Yes, this is keto toast. So we're keeping it keto. The butter is kind of keto. Here's the Vegemite, black as my soul, you know? Completely opaque. Very, it looks kind of thick. It does, I mean, actually, like it looks like a darker version of like, you know what it looks of like? Nutella. Rancid mayo. It looks like rancid mayo. I don't so, know what, do you know what rancid mayo looks like? Cause I'm I don't know what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Would we like to do a smell around before I? I mean, I'm curious. I smelled the snail. <laughs> you did. Oh. <laughs> oh no, don't do that to me. <laughs> oh. It smells kind of savory though. Like it smells salty. I, I would it's imagine there's. Anchovies. Oh my God. <laughs> is there an well, there is. I believe there's Worcestershire sauce in there, so technically there is. So we're gonna eat anchovies, anchovies again. No, I mean no, it's there in isn't. the. It's, oh, it does know. have Worcestershire sauce in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I don't remember reading that. I feel like I read that somewhere. Maybe you're right. I don't know. That's and right Worcestershire sauce has anchovies in it, but like I mean that's like so far I down to the. I say bit. that it's suitable for vegetarians. All right. Vegan, maybe not. I could smell so bad, but yeah, it does smell like super salty. It smells kind of familiar. I hear it. Probably like anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> I could smell like anchovies now. It's what I imagine beet to smell like. And no produce. Okay! Uh, <laughs> oh, smell no! Uh -huh. But like. Okay. Enough, to, enough to recognize the smell. Look at, look at how beautiful. It's so thick. It's thick. I'll do it too. I got it. I mean, shoot, I had snails and sardines and anchovies. I can manage some Vegemite. Let's go. Okay. Vegemite taste test. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh my God, it's so silky. Wow. It's really salty though. Like beefy salt. Yeah. It's like a salt spread. It's really salty though. Mm, the spread is good. <laughs> Thank you. Made it myself. Good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. That did not go as bad as I thought it was going to go. Okay. So we are continuing our trip down this rabbit hole. Going down another rabbit hole. And we are making what now? It's called a michelada. Um, it is a Mexican um, spiced beer drink. Um, today's version is going to be the tomato juice version of it, or um, I don't know. It's not good to me. I know a lot of people over on the West Coast like it. Um, I have uh, some friends in California who have given me some pointers on trying to like attempt to mix something slightly authentic. So we'll see if we can do it today. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to make one kind of big batch and then we're going to split it between all of us and give it a try. So we are starting with lemon and lime juice, right? Yes. Okay, so lemon juice. <laughs> Look out below. <laughs> I'm not that one sure. <laughs> and it was to the side. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> I was, I, for the record, I was not making a short joke. Mm -hmm. Lime. Okay. Those are some it's squish. in there. <laughs> okay. Lemon and lime juice. What's next? Uh, you know, scoop out those seeds. Oh, yeah, the next, the seeds. You know? Oh, I'm just saying. I don't are you trying to joke? Yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to grow a lemon tree in the pit of my stomach. Yeah. Okay. Well, while I'm scooping out seeds here, so we're adding... We're adding splashes of soy sauce. Soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this. Yep. Splash. splash of Worcestershire or Worcestershire. Wor
Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Something sauce. Are you okay over there? Sauce it was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I got it. We got it. Go ahead. Oh my goodness, that's like more than a splash. It, it was a splash. It was a splash. <laughs> it was a splash. It was a heavy splash. Splash. Okay. 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 splash. Okay. Yeah, splash. Splash of the hot sauce. Hot sauce. We're using Frank's, Frank's hot. Hold on. Should be tobacco Hold on. sauce, but you know me. we're working with what we got, okay? Is that a good enough splash? Yeah. Okay. So we have a packet. Now this came inside this the cup, yeah, so we're not even sure what's in it. I'm sure it's on the ingredients. Yeah. Chili powder mix, salt, citric acid, sugar, and paprika. Oh, it's oh. just it's just tahini then. That's literally just tahini. Okay, tahini, some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay, and then. <sighs> then I believe goes the Modelo. Okay, we do need we need a Mexican beer, so we got some Modelo. Just. Uh, I like. Ooh, we have a bartender with us, people. Oh. You know. It's and then goes the uh, tomato juice. Mm -hmm. How much of this? True. Um, probably a half and half portion, I think. All right. We're just eyeballing everything. Yeah, yeah you just tell me when. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I think I think so. It looks about <laughs> the color. When I was in Tijuana, it, it like looked a lot like this, and I was not excited about this. So. Hmm. Were you drunk already when you drank it? Nope. Were you drunk after you drank it? Nope. Okay. Okay. Start Crack start. open the rest of these since we're going to distribute okay. it. Yes. Amongst us. It, it, has like a it already has hand. the straw hole, yeah. so you can carry it in your car. Get drunk on the go. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Please don't drink and drive, people. <laughs> drink responsibly. If you drink, don't drive. If you drive, don't drink. Drink responsibly. Or don't drink. We dog. are responsible here at MRK. Brought to you by Michelada. La Helada. It's La Helada. La Helada Michelada. No, no, you, la can, you can't say the H. Yeah, the H is La Helada. La Helada Michelada. <laughs> I get it eventually. La Helada Michelada. No, La Helada. La Helada Michelada. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I am not Spanish. <laughs> you know what? Listen. Okay. Linda. Bottoms up, everybody. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Cheers to our doom. Kumpai. Let's try this for him. It's like <laughs> tomato beer. That's literally what it is. Now, I don't like beer. I find it disgusting. So this is really bad. It's not bad. It's not, it's not, like, I'm not gonna order it, but. Tastes mm -mm. just the way I remembered it. Mm, mm, mm. Awful. <sighs> wow, that was another adventure. Ugh. That was probably my least favorite thing so far. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So I found a, that means I found a winner then. I found something you wouldn't like. <laughs> Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, uh, I mean, like, there was already beer in it, so I was like, nope. So I think this is also a regional thing you have to be used to, because obviously, like, on the West Coast, they drink this a lot. Okay. Um, it's super common. We don't drink stuff like this out here on the East Coast. It's, this is really, it's really something. Mm. It's something. It is something. It is something. I didn't think it was all that bad. To each their own. I mean, you know, we have a it's not like the worst, but it's definitely, it just tastes like tomato beer to me and I don't like okay. it. Okay. With like, like, it like, there was like this like hint of sweetness and then like this hint of tangness from like the different spices in there, but like it's tomato beer. Okay. Okay. So we're hoping that this is sufficiently set. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn out this gelatinous. Monstrosity. Monstrosity. It's, it's gonna not, work. no. The monstrosity. It is a jelly beef mold. Jelly it beef It received mold. a five-star rating from the something farm country <laughs> journal. Something. Country backwoods farm <laughs> journal, some or other. Okay, so I'm going to take a step back, and I'm going to let you guys reveal to the world what we will be trying next. Okay. 
Oh. oh, it held! It held. It held a pretty, little bit. It's pretty gross, but meh. It held. Okay. It you know, looks like Look at how pretty. a dog food pate, like straight out of the can oh. right now. I think it looks gorgeous. I guess I didn't lay the stuff on that. Why are you like, looking at it like that? It looks so weird. It, does, it looks, no, it looks like a jelly beef mold that received a five star rating from the Farm Country Journal something or other. <laughs> <laughs> and it needs to stay out in the country on that farm because I don't know how it made it to the city. I have no idea. What were people? You know what? This is what we're working with, people. I wouldn't tilt it too far. I'm not going to. Give it sufficient time to set. <laughs> it looks so gross. It really doesn't. It looks so good. Oh, are you gonna go try it? More. <laughs> <sighs> just Come remember, on just down. Remember, I have a lot of things you hate already. I know. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that's true. She doesn't like what is it? Celery, onions, or pickles. Or peppers, or olives. Or peppers. Oh no, girl, this is just all of your favorite things. <laughs> this is just all of her favorite things. Okay. <sighs> Get a good bite, people. All right, ready? I think I got. I, I got everything. With your it smells like dog food pate. Oh, hey. No, it doesn't. It smells like beef tea. No, it smells like a pet. No, it smells like dog food. <laughs> right? I can. I'm not even going to smell it. All right, everybody ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's not too bad. <laughs> Absolutely not. Mm -mm. It's not bad. It's very salty. Yeah. I feel like that's the theme of the evening is salty. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't tolerate it. Even you said it was a uh -uh. You know what? Farmhouse, country, whatever, journal. I grew up in the country. I did not. I give this a two and a half stars. Half star. Because I made it. Just gonna walk Well, over. with helping. Mm. Where's my water? <laughs> Wait, I don't know where my water is. <sighs> over there it's where my water was I mean look if you get a little bit of everything you can see olive pimiento a little celery some onion some dill pickle and that, all that good beef Ooh. and then the, the, holding, <laughs> the holding factor is the gelatin oh my god that's what made it even worse I the gelatin has no flavor. It could have made it worse. I, the, texture. the texture is just, it's not okay. <laughs> not Two and a half stars. Would I make it again? No. Probably not. Would I eat it again? Probably not. Is it worse than sardines? No. I'm, I'm this is, I would rather drink the tomato beer. Oh, no, to me, I think this is worse than the anchovies. That hurts my whole heart. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Look, looked pretty cute. Yeah. Looked like a. I mean, I feel like, you know, like it held together, so we. I mean, it probably could have used a little bit more time, but yeah. like. Mm -hmm, never again. Please don't do that thing. Karate. Look at it. <laughs> I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more. And I would like to thank both of my guests, A-Dubs. Thank you for coming. And Chris, thank you for being here again. Of course. Oh, I'm always so. here to come back and suffer. Oh my goodness. Yes, in case I did not mention before, we did the eggnog tasting together. I'll link it here for you to enjoy that journey. Um, an awful one. Ridiculousness. What did you feel about today? Um, I was very apprehensive about this whole thing, and uh, I understand why, but I will say that a lot of the stuff was not as, like, horrible as, like, I imagined in my head. I guess I made it worse in my head than it actually was, except for the jelly beef mold. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, that was just as bad as I imagined it was going to be. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um.
I'm sorry. You were on your own. I, I ate a couple bites. She did. <laughs> she did. But in terms of rating, I think Vegemite is totally at the bottom for me. Too salty. Then. But you do lousy. Yeah, I know. And then from there, the um, uh, anchovies. Then the the beef monstrosity. And I didn't do escargot. Um, so michelada. She popped out. Yeah, I know. I, I'm not into snails. Then michelada, and at the top of my list is definitely the sardines. Those were the easiest to eat. How about for you? Um, bottom of the list, I'm going to have to say probably was the anchovies. Yes, just no. never again. They're pretty bad. <laughs> um, never again. No, I agree. Then Sorry, I would mom. say probably the Vegemite because super salty. Um, Everything was salty. Everything was very salty today. Um, people who eat canned and processed foods apparently need lots of sodium. Um, so anchovies, Vegemite. I'm going to go ahead and give a tie to the tomato beer drink. Mm. And then um, tie that with the jelly beef mold. Wasn't that bad. Don't let these guys fool you. And then I would say probably snails just because it didn't really have much of a taste and then throw the sardines on top because they were definitely the easiest to, to go down yeah. yeah for me definitely the the jelly beef mold i couldn't even i couldn't even i couldn't even chew that <laughs> like i couldn't even chew that i was the moment it hit my tongue it was gone <laughs> i was like nope so that's definitely the bottom of my list um after that i would say the anchovies that's like super salty um that was it's just like salt um, then we're going to go with the, the, what is it? The Michelada? Michelada. Michelada. The Michelada. Cause I mean, that just tastes like, it just tastes like carbonated tomato juice. It was just like a carbonated tomato juice with a hint of beer. <laughs> um. I'm sorry if I did you wrong, Michelada. We did our best with what was available to us. Um, from there. What else did we have? Oh, um. I feel like I'm missing something. Your sardines, your snails. And those are the only two left, right? So then I would have, I would say the escargot and then the sardines. The sardines actually weren't that bad. I was like, hmm, this is not so bad. Like, that was okay. I'll put that on some toast. How do I? Oh, wait, the Vegemite. Oh, the Vegemite. The Vegemite, okay, so Vegemite, snails, escargot, excuse me. Vegemite, escargot, and then sardines. So that's mine. You don't need, need to make them sound cute. It's snails. We know it's snails. <laughs> snails. I know it's snails. Snails, then. <sighs> okay. Well, why don't you comment below <laughs> what you thought about, one, our reaction, and two, would you try any of these creations or anything else? Or have you tried any of these creations or anything else? Let us know in the comments below. You should give us a recommendation for more disgusting food, too, if you have any ideas, as long as it's not organs or animals. Oh animals. yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> not today. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. no. But I would like to thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness. At Mama Rubble's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got you it. You got it in, you got it in. Apagan los lasuses. Oh my gosh. <laughs>